Connaître et savoir Melisi par C'est la vie. I'm going to treat these two verbs separately and hopefully that'll clear up a lot of confusion. Que veut dire connaître? What does connaître mean? Connaître has a couple of meanings. One is to be acquainted with and the other is to be familiar with. In this presentation, I'm going to treat to be acquainted with for people and to be familiar with with places. And I'm going to do this in order to keep this entire concept simple. Connaître. To be familiar with or to be acquainted with. Let's conjugate it. Je connais. Tu connais. Elle connaît. Il connaît. On connaît. Nous connaissons. Vous connaissez, elles connaissent, ils connaissent. Note that I've made the E circumflex in yellow, and I've done that throughout this presentation to remind you and to keep it easy. Remember that the circumflex typically replaces an S that was removed sometime in history. Let's look at the left side to be acquainted with people. Notice that the people that we mention are going to be in yellow and the verb connaître will be in green. Écoutez et répétez. Je connais le patron. I'm acquainted with the boss. Ils connaissent ma famille. They are acquainted with my family. Vous connaissez ce type? Are you acquainted with this guy? Elle ne connaît personne. She is not acquainted with anyone. Notice that ne personne is the negation, which means nobody or no one. On the other side, the right side, we have familiar with places. Répétez. Connais-tu bien Paris? Are you familiar with Paris? Nous connaissons cette rue. We're, fa we're familiar with this street. Il connaît ma ville natale. He's familiar with the town of my birth. Elles connaissent Québec. They're familiar with Quebec City. Connais-tu bien Paris? I looked all over the place to try and find a postcard that had all of these sites in one spot, and I finally found it. Look, in this postcard we have La Tour Eiffel, and shot through the foundation of La Tour Eiffel, we have in the background Le Moulin Rouge, which perhaps you've seen the movie. You see in the background you have Sacré Coeur. Look at it shining in Montmartre area of Paris. And another church, we have Notre Dame. And also in the front, with the cars driving around at night, all lit up. We have L'Arc de Triomphe. Connais-tu bien Paris? Vous connaissez? Je connais ton frère parce que nous fréquentons le même gymnase. I'm acquainted with your brother because we go to the same gym. Nous ne connaissons pas encore bien ce pays. We're not familiar with this country yet. Connaissez-vous très bien vos voisins? Are you acquainted with your neighbors very well? Connaître au passé composé. In the passé composé, you're going to conjugate connaître with the verb avoir 
and the participe passé or the past participle is connu. It has a special meaning. It's not to be familiar with or to be acquainted with. Rather, it means met. Répété. Elle a connu son mari à l'université. She met her husband at university. J'ai connu mon colocataire le jour de la rentrée. The day we returned, I met my roommate. Nous n'avons pas encore connu toute l'équipe. We haven't yet met the entire team. Connaître à l'imparfait. In the imparfait, connaître means was acquainted with or was familiar with. Remember that when you're forming the imparfait of a verb in French, you're going to remove the ONS of the form that goes with nu in the present indicative, and then you add your appropriate endings. Écoutez et répétez. L'année dernière, je ne te connaissais pas. Last year, I wasn't acquainted with you. Quand elle était enfant, elle connaissait bien son quartier. When she was a child, she was familiar with her neighborhood very well. Connaissiez-vous tous vos cousins en Belgique? Were you guys acquainted with all of your cousins in Belgium? Now, having talked about the verb connaître, we're now going to look at the next verb, which is savoir. And although it's the same presentation, we're going to treat it as a different entity. Savoir means to know how to do something and also to know factual information. If you keep this in mind, you'll be able to keep this all very simple. To conjugate savoir, répéter, je sais, tu sais, on sait, il sait, elle sait, nous savons, vous savez, ils savent, elles savent. On the left side, we're working with the concept of knowing how, and I've put in the color of light blue what we know how to do. Répétez, ils savent nager. They know how to swim. Tu sais jouer aux échecs. Do you know how to play chess? Nous savons bricoler. We know how to do things ourselves, do-it-yourself type work. Il ne sait pas lire. He doesn't know how to read. On the right, we're dealing with factual information. Répétez. Savez-vous où j'habite? Do you know where I live? Elle ne sait pas l'heure. She doesn't know what time it is. Je sais que c'est difficile. I know that it's difficult. Elles savent qui tu es. They know who you are. Ils savent nager. Voici peut-être une équipe de natation. Il y a quatre nageurs, au moins trois qui font le crawl, et puis un autre qui est en train de plonger dans la piscine. There's one who's diving into the pool. Il plonge dans la piscine. Il se prépare peut-être pour un concours de natation. Perhaps they're training for some swimming competition. Savez-vous? Do you know how? Or do you know factual information? Écoutez et répétez. 
Savez-vous vraiment faire de la planche à voile? Do you really know how to windsurf? Or, do you really know how to sailboard? Ils ne savent pas que vous n'êtes pas d'ici. They don't know that you're not from here. Ma meilleure amie ne sait pas cuisiner. My best friend doesn't know how to cook. Mais nous savons tous qu'elle a quand même apporté le dessert. But we all know that even so, she brought the dessert. So, she couldn't cook, but she did something. Savoir au passé composé has a special meaning. In the passé composé, you're going to conjugate the verb using the verb avoir as your auxiliary verb. And the past participle is su. In the passé composé, it means found out. Elle n'a pas su que son fiancé avait déjà huit enfants. She didn't find out that her fiancé already had eight children. Now that would have been useful information to know beforehand. Mes amis ont su que c'est mon anniversaire aujourd'hui. My friends found out that it's my birthday today. Nous avons su hier que tu étais malade. We found out yesterday that you were sick. Savoir à l'imparfait. In the imparfait, it simply means new. Saviez-vous que j'habitais si près? Did you know that I lived so close? Savait-elle écrire et lire à l'âge de trois ans? Did they know how to write and read at three years old? Savait-il jouer bien au volleyball? Did he know how to play volleyball well? Now, before I say this last slide, You're probably asking, what's the fuss? Why was that so difficult? It's that when people are teaching savoir and connaître, usually they teach them simultaneously and side by side, and it makes everything confusing. À la prochaine, c'est la vie 2020.